Coach is Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so we can let you know when new content's been uploaded. This is one of my favorites. Ran this in junior college a bunch. Um, it's worked basically on, on every level. And I will sell all you guys on this route right here. Um, everybody in the world runs post wheel, right? And post wheels fine. Post wheels work. There's a reason people still run post wheel. Um, but what I'll tell you is crack seam wheel is way better. It's way better. It's way better. I will, I will swear on crack seam wheel. Um, and again, now I'll put an asterisk by it. If you're going to run this, you've got a crack in your run game. And if you've listened to any of the other talks, again, it, it, uh, we're going to crack safeties and let corners fall off and let corners make tackles. Um, I think that's great for your run game. I also think it really pairs up very well with your play action game. And again, I think, like I, I mentioned to start this thing, your run game and your pass game got to marry up. So if you're not a crack guy, then scratch what I said, don't run this stuff. If you are going to crack, then run this, be ready for touchdowns. Um, it's, it's hard as a defense. What do you do? Um, you know, and you'll see on film again, it's not, um, it, it's just, it puts defenders in conflict and, and it's tough, man. Um, and then, you know, if you have really good athletes uh, in these spots and it's, then it's even harder. Um, but again, we can run, it. excuse me, we can run it um, out of any scheme. And that's, like, that's how we built this. Uh, that's how we built this play, act, uh, play action system is baby. We have four types of protections. Okay, we've got um, we've got B scheme, we've got P scheme, uh, we've got counter. So that's just belly, power, counter, and zone, right? And so what we'll do is our old line will work the heck out of those. Um, Coach Lynn will take the old lineman and he'll you know work the heck out of all those protections. Okay, well then we've got several different route concepts we like. Okay, and we'll take the wide outs and the, the features or cruisers whoever's involved, and we'll work the heck out of those routes. Okay, and the beauty of what we've done is you can put, like the O-line doesn't care what the, the route is. The route doesn't care what the O-line is doing. Um, so, I mean, if you've worked one play action route, you've got um, four different ways you can run that one route. And it's all different to a defense. It's all a different fit to a defense. It's all a different alignment to a defense. Okay, and conversely, you could run if, hey, it's going to be a big, um, it's going to be a big belly game for us. Well, we can run you know, three different routes off of one belly protection. Um, you know, when you get into that game and even if, you know, say you didn't call um, in practice because, you know, belly wasn't a big part of your game plan, right? And you get into the game and all of a sudden your answer has been belly, right? Well, man, we didn't run a lot of belly um, crack scene uh, in, in practice that week, okay? But you know what we did? We ran a bunch of, you know, zone crack scene because that's what we thought we were going to be hitting on. Well, Again, the, the skill guys don't care. They know what crack seam is. The O-line doesn't care. They know how to piece belly together. Um, and then you can just put it together uh, and make it kind of all work. So it's a way where, you know, all these guys that will have um, lists of, hey, I got I to gotta rep this play, you know, five times in practice or I won't call it in a game. And that's, that's fine. Everybody's got their, their way of, of doing it. Um, and they all work. Again, no, uh, you know, no shots at anybody there. But. Um, you know, from my perspective, I want to be flexible in a game. I want to be able to attack. I want to be able to adjust. Uh, and so again, yeah, we didn't work that exact play, but we can piece it together. And the only guy that it matters for is the quarterback. The quarterback makes this all work. Um, you know, and as a quarterback in our, or as the quarterback coach in our Indy, I'm working all this. I'm working reads in Indy. I'm working reads on film. You know, we're able to piece that all together as long as the quarterback can make it work mentally. Um, and again, if you're installing it the right way, he has no trouble. Um, it's, it's deadly, man. It's, it's really deadly. Look at what we got going here. Um, again, here's, uh, you've, you've got to kind of laugh when, when you watch some of the defenses, some of you guys, if, if you're in some run heavy, uh, you know, offenses, you probably see the same thing. Um, quite a bit, right? Well, look at, I mean, look at this dang box for crying out loud. We got press, we got press, um, you know, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys within 10 yards in your box. I mean, you want to know why we weren't as effective as, as running it this year? Well, 
Yeah, that's that's it right there. You know, but again, if uh, as you talk about systems, what's your answer? You know, it's ah oh, crap, good scheme, we're done for the day. Let's you know maybe try to throw a fade or something. And that's like nope. Let's you know you've got to have answers to all this stuff. So again, here's our run scheme. Um, we're running. Uh, let me see what are we running here. Run a counter option. Okay, we get it pitched again. We're cracking. Okay, here's our wide out. Excellent job by our wide out taking a flat angle. If he doesn't take a flat angle, he doesn't get there. Okay, he cracks. Now again, well, what coverage are they playing here? All right, they're playing man, right? Um, so again, as in the box, you know, I got to have my eyes. Hey, I know we're, um, I know we're running uh, our counter option with the crack scheme. Well, I'm going to have my eyes on this safety first to see how fast he triggers, and then I'm going to see if this man guy falls off. And again, watch this. Watch this corner. We're going into crack. He sees run. He's already fallen off. Well, he shouldn't be able to fall off that early because he's it's man. You can't fall off man coverage, right? How does he know it's not play action yet? Okay, so he falls off early. Um, again, good job. Good effort by our wide out here. Um, it's it's not the, the kill shot, um, but you know what? He gets just enough. He slows him down. It was physical. Again, we get to the edge. If you've seen any of our talks, try to get to the edge. Um, and again, even with 75 people in the box, um, you know, we still got it cracked, uh, which again is one of the reasons I like cracking is because you can crack that thing and get it to the edge. Um, and we still got, you know, five, five yards. We'll take five yards. Again, 3.34, five is greater than that. We'll keep running it. Okay, we'll now look, um, again, look right here. Oops, sorry, some people have the video view there. Okay, um, but again, you saw us crack. Uh, this might be in the way, I'm not sure, but you'll see our wide out here. Um, okay, here he comes in our crack. Well, this is our crack scene. Okay, we've got a guy in an arc who would normally be going to block that corner. Um, everything up front is the exact same. Okay, well, again, look what happens. Wide out comes in, the man to man guy seems run, he falls off. Oh crap, it's not a run. And there's your wide out wide open in the end zone. Okay, and again, um, quarterback's footwork, TJ sell it. He feels a little pressure, so he bails a little bit, understandable, flip throw, right? That's how fast it's gotta be. And again, uh, with your reads, you want your reads to be that concise so he knows exactly what to see. Oh, I see it, flip throw. Okay, and again, great job. TJ has worked his absolute butt off um, to be one of the best uh, passers in the nation, man. He, he can throw. People don't know it. We don't ask him to do it every time, but um, again, he's he's really bought into to everything he's got to do as a quarterback to do it all. And flip, flip, throw. He even takes um, you know just a little bit of a a little bit of a nudge here. Um, but again, he doesn't bail out. He steps in. He throws it wide open. Okay. Now this game, um, we were running some counter. Uh, this isn't true counter option, but we were just running some counter give. Um, we wanted to take a few hits off our quarterback this week. Um, so now we run, again, we run counter give uh, crack scene. Okay, and one thing I'll say again, um, okay, with the crack, again, we've cracked. These guys feel this, okay? These guys feel when they're being cracked. And what do their coaches draw up on the whiteboard? Hey, if you feel crack, I need you to trigger. We've got to beat that crack block, right? I mean, um, any if, you know, if, if any guys on here have to coach both sides, I'm sure you say the same thing. So he feels it. He's trying to trigger to beat it. But guess what? It's not. Now he's the guy he's supposed to cover um, is running a wheel right by him. OK, wide open. Let's go to work. Um, I probably shouldn't tell you this. We get a holding penalty and it comes back. Uh, but I still wanted to show you that clip because, um, again, it's 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 tough. And again, you'll see here you've got nine guys in the box again. Um, so nine man box, you got to do something other than run it typically. Uh, darn holding call. Um, again, same thing here. Um, this is the run play. Again, we crack it. Okay, just running load option here. We're going to crack this thing. Uh, great job by TJ getting that pitch. Pretty good pitch relationship here. Um, then we're off and running, right? But again, you can see who's the guy we're looking for. Um, safety triggers. Again, if we're getting a guy to trigger here and there's only one guy deep, well, now look 
how easy it is for a two verticals concept to work, right? I mean, there's only one guy to defend it. <laughs> okay, and again, let's come back. Um, you'll see, I hope you see we're, we're pulling up the same clips in the game. That's what makes it tough is if, if, you know, you could pull it up from one game and then pull up the play action for another game. Well, what good's that doing you? I need it to affect these guys on this day. Um, and again, I will say, um, you know, knowing times to call your play actions, um, you know, and, and sometimes you got to be a little gutsy. Uh, but again, what are people thinking on the six yard line, especially for a run based team? They're thinking, hey, they're going to run it and try to get a first down. Well, sometimes that's your best calls uh, is, is when you don't think it. OK, again, we're going to get it checked here, uh, getting to a good, good play. Um, let's watch our wide out here as he comes to crack. OK, really good. Patient. OK, he cracks. What does this guy do? Oh, tries to blow it up. What does this guy do? He tries to fall off. OK, and really, we won there, too. OK, so not only did we get him to trigger, we got this guy to win. Uh, but our running back comes underneath on our wheel, wide open. Okay, let's watch TJ. Again, what does he do good? He sells it. You've got to sell the run. You've got to sell option. Whatever your run play is, it's got to look like the run play. Great run. Okay, what do we teach? Flip throw. Great, easy pass. Um, you know, and that's that's one of the things we try to teach these quarterbacks too. Um, again, TJ's done a good job. Don't don't make a throw harder than it is. The guy's wide open. Just get it to him. You know, don't, don't overthink it. He's wide open. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Great throw. Um, again, explosive play. Let's go to work. Uh, again, 40 yard, 40 yard gain there, whatever it was. Pretty good, pretty good play. Um, okay, let's see what we ran here protection wise. Again, we just run in load option uh, protection up front. It looks exactly like what we were just doing in the option game. How do they know? You don't know till the last second. Good throw, good catch there. Coach is Rich Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. I really hope this video helps make you a better coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below so we can let you know when new content becomes available because we're all about coaches helping coaches. And remember, coach, better today, never as good as tomorrow.